what is going on <coughs> what is going on guys it's the one game here welcome back to another boom Beach video guys today guys i'm actually going to show you guys uh stages 10 through 14 which i have done actually stages 10 to 13 and then i'm gonna go attack with the, the last couple of troops i have seen how much damage you can do on stage 14 uh, i will show you guys stage 14 in a bit uh but first of all let's go through all the things now, I did show you guys in the first video the stages 1 through 9, and yeah, it does get really difficult once you get up here, but, of course, I do have some statue bonuses. I will boost them up in the video, um, probably, uh, probably, yeah, I will probably boost them up in probably the last couple of hours before the Mega Crab, um, so I will do that for like 3 hours before the Mega Crab is over, um, uh, but for right now, I'm saving up the powders, uh, see how much we can, how far we can go. Um, and stuff like that. So here we go. We're gonna go through stages 10. I'm a four times stuff speed here because, you know, I just don't want to bore you guys. Or, and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. A couple things, guys. They are, they do have the cry bomb. They do, some of them had the speed serum. But most of the time, uh, they all have the freaking pumpkin mortars. Now, these pumpkin mortars are so annoying, guys. I will say, if you guys are bringing it to the night crab and, you know, have been playing Boom Beach and been up to the HQ of 7. Um, and the Mega Crab is pretty much, like, it basically depends on how far you can go through the Mega Crab. And without, like, losing, um, a battle or, like, an attack. Um, and basically it's trying to train your skills as well. Like, you can use the Mega Crab as, like, a training area. Because, you know, each Mega Crab stage gets difficult. Um, so that's how I think of it, like, it's, like every stage gets difficult, and basically it gets, allows you to train probably the same thing as your troops, to pretty much manipulate and how to, you know, attack a base, just like the Mega Crab, and probably use it on Dr. T, um, uh, let's see, uh, 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 Gears Heart, freaking, uh, Gears Heart, um, Island, uh, so pretty much I think of the Mega Crab as a good thing as, as for resources, and also to pretty much train your troops on how you actually, you know, go, how to play the style, how to, you know, how to freaking, you know, uh, how to, you know, how to go with the troops and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the Mega Cry, guys. This is stages 10 through 4, 13. Um, I did show you guys 9 through, you know, 1 through 9 on camera. Um, so that was kind of crazy. Uh, so we're going to 4 times the speed here because literally I spent my... Uh, if you guys don't know, I did have two Zookas, a couple Zookas, and of course those freaking, um, my, the critters, the flying critters, uh, pretty much actually were doing some damage, so here I go guys, these were the only two Zookas I had, and literally they actually did manage to get rid of the, of the HQ, so it was kind of cool, uh, so yeah, there you guys go, those are the two Zookas and the three critters that survived. Um, luckily, if I if, if it wasn't for those three critters, I could have still been doing this stage. But luckily, I had to. Now, Mega Crab stages 11 were actually get kind of difficult. Um, I tried the Grenadiers and also Grenadiers, Tanks, Medics, and Zookas. And it was kind of tough. So, I'm going to show you guys the Tanks, Medics, and Zookas because those did the most damage on this. And also, um, my Garages. So, yeah. It, it, for right now it looks so, so easy for me but once i deploy all this stuff i have it's literally insane especially since this is a halloween like mega crab edition pretty much the pumpkin mortars are gonna be more difficult they are gonna be a lot insane when you go up or up when you go up on um, above these stages and it's just really crazy guys those pumpkin mortars are the number one things you guys have to get rid of because literally once once they hit your troops, they pretty much had to defend your Zookas. If you're going for like a Zooka heavy, the, um, it's going to be really dangerous, guys. So pretty much make sure you guys get rid of those mortars, the pumpkin mortars first, because literally they're just going to make you cry, like literally once you're done attacking. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys get rid of those once you first start the Mega Crab. Uh, there's a couple Cryoneers in some of these stages. So as I said, guys, there's some Speed Serum as well. But they're rarely in there, so, you know, they can still count for you. Uh, so yeah. Right now, I'm barraging pretty much all that stuff. Like, all the stuff I don't need. Like, the pumpkin mortar, as I said, again. Um, and I just went all crazy, guys. But my tanks, you know, they go all the, all the style. 
Um, and those freaking mortar, those canyons, which I didn't pay attention to was when I was first attacking this. We're going crazy, so yeah, I saved the last couple of troops, um, and stuff like that. Uh, Grenadiers, I don't want to show you guys that, we got gut because that's literally horrible. So here I go with a flawless victory, no deaths for every single troop. So uh, you guys can see, look how much my Grenadiers damage did. If I did show you guys, if, on um, the second replay for this stage, you guys can see how much damage they've done. Uh, but right now, this is going to be easy, flawless win, there's nothing going to be added. Um, pretty much all my things just wrecked it. Try to get rid of that annoying, like, shield. Um, and I did. And pretty much my Zuka saved the heavy. So, hashtag Zuka's for the win. And there you guys go. That was stage 12. Uh, no, 11. Now, 12 gets a little bit difficult. Or not difficult. It's really easy, guys. This is the most easiest. I literally didn't even think of that. So, yeah. There's the speed serum, guys. There's a couple speed serum. Um, but that was only just one speed serum. I thought there was going to be multiple. But look at how flawless I went on this, guys. I want to show you guys how flawless, how flawless I literally went on this one. This is, like, literally my easiest one out of all. Um, of course there's a pumpkin, but I didn't even pay attention to that pumpkin. Uh, but yeah, there goes a Zuko. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind, it's not a flawless, guys. I'm escaping you guys. I apologize. We didn't do this flawless thing. But there goes, look how many quitters. Literally, my shock can shock these things for, for literally a long time. And look at the critters. Uh, some of my heavies did get to speak serum, not all of them. So that's kind of okay. <clears throat> but look how freaking flawless that was. Look at all the critters from that area. Just literally destroyed it. Um, but it was just madness. It's literally madness, guys. It's just pure madness. There's nothing... Yeah, it's just... Look how, look how easy this is. This is like easy, like the easiest one I've seen in my entire life. Now, stage 14 is the same thing as this one, except it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. And it's gonna be a lot of rockets, a lot of cannons, a lot of freaking pumpkin mortars. Stage 13 here, guys, I wanna show you guys the, this last one. I just wanna show you guys real quick. This is the same thing as two stages ago. This time they had mortars, flamethrowers, mortars. He sunk a couple canyons in there. Uh, the mortar, the pumpkin mortars. Now, there are mostly canyons on this. As you guys can see, look how many canyons. There are like two, level 20 canyons. And yeah, it's just crazy. But yeah, here you go. Oh, I like the animation for the pumpkin. Look at that, guys. Literally, they just, like, once a pumpkin comes out, literally it goes under and then gets another one and just, like, flawless does it. Uh, but yeah, look at, look at this, guys. I, I don't even know how I did this. Well, look at this. So, pretty much, I brought all my Zuko's heavies to this side. And what I decided is, you know what, screw it. Let's go with that machine gun. Put that on um, another uh, layer at that area. Get rid of that shield. Um, and then we actually go against with the freaking HQ. So, yeah, we did this flawless. And it was kind of easy as well. Um, but, yeah, there goes that one. And uh, that was stage number 13. Now, here we guys go. Number 14, I'll show you, I showed you all of you guys that. Look at 14, this is literally the most insane one I've seen right now. Um, yeah, this, there's all, there's no way I can get through this. Mostly, because critters are mostly inside, the freaking mortars will wreck them. Uh, the freaking spooky, the, the, the spooky, the scary mortar is there as well. Um, I think there's only one scary mortar, so I think we can take that out. Um, so we don't have to worry too much on the, uh, uh, what's it called? We don't have to deal too much with the, so then my critters can be pretty much just, um, attacking the towers and the canyons. That's gonna help a lot, guys, because literally once they're done with that, they're just gonna go around here, get more critter containers. I'll probably help them with more critter containers, probably pop every single one of them. Um... But yeah, we're gonna go give this a shot, even though we still haven't have our other. Do you know what, guys? So we're gonna gem the, gem these up. Um, I only see I have 627 gold uh, gems, so we're just gonna go uh, load those bad boys up. And also, let's go uh, gem diamond gem this up. Uh, we can go get a hot pot, which is actually kind of crazy. We can actually get a hot pot. I need two more prototype modules. Um, 
let's see. Uh, we can upgrade our HQ, but we're not going to be done by now today. We're going to probably need a lot more time. So let's go upgrade something we can actually do, guys. So pretty much all my inventory doesn't go away. Uh, should we, no, we should do something more extensive. So I'll show you guys. Uh, okay, so 360, 350, and 87. Uh, or should we just continue? You know what, guys? Let's just go risk it. Let's just go risk our stage number 14. Show you guys on camera. And let's go for this amazing attack. So anyways, let's see what we can go first. First of all, of course, we just said, guys, we are going to go against that scary mortar over there. We're going to double barrage it. Get rid of as much damage as we can. Probably I'll be take that out right now. There you guys go. Now, here's crazy parts. We're actually going to start bombing every single one of these guys out of here. Let's go all of them guys out. Look at how many crazy critters there are. There's literally thousands of them. Uh, so let's see how much damage you can do for all that stuff. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things that is going to distract them or pretty much get rid of them. Um, right now they're doing pretty good good business. There goes a couple canyons right there. Uh, thank you so much little critters. I love every single one of y'all. There goes that one. That cannon's going to shoot them. There we go. And yeah, so we got a couple cannons out of the way. Now let's go get rid of this. Oh, that survived. Let's go get rid of this as well. Um, we're gonna go get rid of that. We can't with one barrage. No, we can't. Let's go with that one as well. Alright, <clears throat> there goes that one. Now, let's go barrage this area right here. See how much we can get rid of. Um, <clears throat> uh, stuff like that. Okay, so there goes that one. I'm gonna help these guys out. Uh, trying to get rid of these guys out of here. And go there. Uh, it's gonna start spreading soon. Uh, probably not. So, we did a lot of damage on this, the freaking, uh, shield, those shields I need to get rid of. So, since we got that rid of out of the way, let's go and do all this stuff we need to put on here. Uh, we're gonna go with heavies first, my zookas are gonna go second of all. And after, since we're actually up here, let's go get the critters, and I just killed three of them, my bad guys. My critters are a little too weird to that right now. Uh, so there goes my critters, so we're gonna actually go pop another one. Because we need to get these guys protected as much as we can. Uh, we're actually going to go against this freaking uh, sniper tower. And we're actually going to go against that thing over there. The other cannon over there. We're gonna actually going to pull these guys away from that. Show you guys a little bit of... We're going to smoke these guys for a second. I don't want to, like, you know, get rid of them real quick. Uh, but that was actually a pretty bad flare. My freaking... Can't, that freaking mortar is going to get rid of all my freaking Zookas. Uh, but there goes that one. My mortar. Oh my god, my mortar is going. Okay. That's okay. We do got the cryo. The, the cryo. Uh, the cryo bomb. Oh crap. No, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. It's going to freeze everything. What the heck? It froze my freaking Zookas. I forgot the freaking cryo bomb can literally kill all my Zookas in one shot. So that was a fail, guys. Um, we did as much as damage as we could, uh, as we could, um, uh, yeah, we just need a little bit more, um, we just gotta get rid of the shield and the HQ, which is gonna be flawless, um, uh, for the next one, if we can, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for you guys today, guys, I wanna thank every single one of you guys for so much for watching, and we're gonna still continue finding this mega crab, hope we can make it to stage 20 like the first one we actually did, uh, that was a kind of a fun mega crab uh to do and you know and we hope we expect for the best and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are brand new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care